Nigel Maynard, Senior Editor for Products at Builder Magazine. And we are here today at the Pacific Coast Builder Show, and we're about to look at a product that's pretty interesting because I know streamlined design is pretty hot right now, especially in the shower. And we have a shower pan here that is very different, and I'm here with Ad uh, John Adamak. John, can you tell us uh, what is different about your shower pan compared to what's on the market? The two main differences for our shower pan is the thin profile, but the fact that it's also structural. So there's no structural changes that have to take place beneath our floor in order for it to work. Okay. So we create a level entry shower or a barrier free shower or a threshold free shower depending on what you want to call it. Now explain to us how the system works. The system works is that we pick out the size and we make nine different shapes, every one that can be cut, so they become a infinite number of sizes we okay. can make with this product, starting with a 70 by 32 and going down to a 32 by 32. Okay. Let's talk about a typical bathtub replacement where somebody wants to go create a nice streamlined look, universal design, and have accessibility also okay. at the same time. So a 60 by 32, this is a 36 by 36. Our profile is 7 eighths of an inch. Again, remembering that this is a 4,000 pound rated floor. This okay. is totally structural. No other changes have to take place. Traditional installations will require that you change the joist system in order to build either a mud base right. or take something that would create structure underneath that floor. We okay. don't have to do that. So once the pan is installed, you have... Once the pan is installed and the drain uh, which comes with a system and the waterproofing, which is the MAPI system here, which is designed that goes specifically with this. in our seam system. So this comes in a roll, 40 feet, and it's cut, and it's used to cover any of the seams where we transition from one type of material to another. Any of the seams, if we would have multiple hardy backer or dura rock or a green board or whatever you're using, lath, all we're going to do is take a paint roller and put the waterproofing system on. The total application is two coats. They take only eight hours to dry. So the next morning, once this is in place, you wait eight hours and you are capable of going in then and thin setting over the top of the waterproofing system and placing your tile in place. That's what you do. Okay, now this has a round drain, but yes. Uh, as we both know, in architecture right now, the linear drain is pretty popular. Yes. Do you have a system that would fit that? We do indeed. One of the key points of linear drains is that they have a, an extreme pitch from one end to the other. Right. We, our linear drain, and if you can get a close-up of this, this is, these are four pinch points. This is pre-pitched, so no floating is involved in this. Okay. So when I'm going to lay my tile down, I'm already going to have the pitch for the tile into the drain. Our linear drains do the same thing. We have four pitch points to the linear end so that you don't have to have the extreme slope and they keep the consistent level of the product throughout. Okay, and so you just tile over everything? Yes, you can pull tile out and you can buy, you know, obviously in a bigger unit, you'll be out here further, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to match this pitch point, you can tile and do a massive area of pitching into this particular drain. Okay. Well, John, thank you very much for talking Nigel, to us today. my pleasure. All right.